The Tropical Low in this 96P has been upgraded by the BI Meteorology's Tropical Cyclone Warning Centre to Category 1 Greta. As at 4.42am Sunday local time, Tropical Cyclone Gretel Category 1 with Central Pressure 990 was located over the Coral Sea near 18 decimal 5 degrees south. 155 decimal 4 degrees east, which is about 1460 kilometres northwest of the Norfolk Island and 1870 kilometres east northeast of Rockhampton. The cyclone is currently tracking east southeast at 37 kilometres an hour and it's expected to continue to move southeast away from the Queensland coast while intensifying over the next 24 hours. The cyclone is likely to impact Norfolk Island on Monday, although it may have lost some of its tropical characteristics by that time. The system is expected to maintain a intensity equivalent to a Category 2 tropical cyclone on the AU scale as it passes to the north and east of the island. Matteo France is also on board. They have a cyclonic warning number one in place and is for the north of province included the west of New Caledonia remains on psychotic pre-alert and they have their information as at five o'clock local time the moderate tropical depression was set at 18 decimal 8 degrees south 159 decimal 8 degrees east this is about 500 kilometers west north west of I think it's Cumac and they have maximum average winds of around 75 kilometers an hour as it moves towards the southeast it is situated in the environment favorable to its development and continues to organise itself gradually. Heavy rains have impacted New Caledonia over the last 24 hours, in particular the northern and southern extremes of Grandy Tree. Apology for the pronunciation on that one, with 100 to 150 millimetres of rain. The most probable scenario is that Gretel should pass as close as possible about 200 kilometres west of New Caledonia this afternoon and Monday at the start of the day at the stage of stronger tropical depression. Gusts between 110 and 130 kilometres an hour expected on the west coast and the far south. They are close to 100 kilometres over the rest of the country. Heavy rain possible throughout the country. The most exposed regions with the most important accumulations expected are the north, the relief, the east coast, extreme south. Overflows of rivers are to be feared including on the west coast. The sea becomes very strong this afternoon and waves on the coast and troughs of four to six metres offshore. That's the latest from the Matteo France, New Caledonia. And a joint typhoon warning centre and then also on board they have it located 393 nautical miles west of northwest of Numea. We're tracking southeast at 21 knots over the last six hours. 
animated enhanced infrared satellite imagery reveals a large 3 to 400 and I should say 300 to 400 nautical mile central dense overcast there's fair confidence in the initial position placed by extrapolating from banding features in a 89 gigahertz microwave image this position suggests the low level circulation is slightly south of the center of the CDO the environment surrounding the tropical cyclone and they've coded at 23p marginally favorable with excellent outflow particularly on the polewood side moderate 15 to 20 knot vertical wind shear warm 29 30 celsius sea surface temperature for the duration of the forecast the cyclone will track along the southwest periphery of a near equatorial ridge the marginal favorable environment will support intensification over the next 24 hours Afterwards, strong vertical wind shear cool sea surface temperature will cause some weakening for the remainder of the forecast. Around the 36 hour mark, the cyclone will begin interacting with the mid latitude trough, digging in from the rest, and the accompanying Barrow Clinic zone will begin extra tropical transition. This process should complete between 48 and 72 hours with 100 nautical miles of spread by the 72 hour mark. Numicore model guidance is in good agreement lending high confidence to the center's track forecast. And wave height, 34 feet. We will continue to bring the uh, latest information on this uh, cyclone and also via our AU channel. for watching this production of Force 13. For more information about Force 13, you can check us out on all of our outlets. Our website, force13.com, where we are overhauling the website and writing new articles for your reading pleasure. We're also on YouTube, keyword Force 13. You're probably there already, good chance of that. If you are, hit that like and subscribe button to keep getting updates like this one coming to your mailbox. We're also on Facebook, keyword Force 13, where we post our updates and keep an eye out for our live coverage on there as well. And we're on Twitter, keyword Force 13. And if you want to rock our colors like Nathan Foy here, you can go to our store available at store.force13.com or you can contribute to the project directly by way of the Patreon. More information about patronage and the privilege you can get from patronage can be found at patreon.com forward slash Force 13. And you can reach out to us on Skype at Force 13 or to me directly on Discord at TREN, extension 1375, or you can join our server with our new link at discord.gg forward slash force13.